king with all to do here at Logs. Holds his ground, good trigger discipline, that's two. He's been so valuable oh for this squad, and he continues to kill as he gets a second. Cryo with the third, the shorty in the face. Welcome back, everyone, to VCT Americas as we break down that sunset game that went to overtime. Leviathan have forced a mat three, and here we are. This has been, uh, uh, well, first things first, I was just bonkers. Uh, from it both was teams. a crazy game. It was a crazy game, uh, but, you know, Doug, you're looking at me. You're looking at me, Doug. <laughs> I'm just annoyed at the fake comeback, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're all thinking that. it. We're all Make going it, like, yep. why did this happen? <laughs> Make it real or don't, just don't start it at all. It's don't start it. It sucks losing. Trust yeah. issues. With a fake comeback as well. Not, yeah, exactly. Just yeah. Give, so just give up. Just yeah. give up. And, and this game, though, <laughs> really was wild, oh, though. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, there were trading insane rounds back and forth by it. This first half was so chaotic when 100 Thieves were on defense. On a lot of the rounds, they were trying to play really proactively, fight into B main, take some aggressive positions. I mean, look at what they were trying to do here. They had Busio running up off the Hunter's Fury with EU, <laughs> but Osmos just satchels into his face and kills him. And then even later into these rounds, it's just absolute chaos, man. But yeah. once the side swapped, it was a bit more sensible that the way the rounds were operating. Yeah, that most definitely. I mean, I think it goes to show you, right? Like these two teams, both of them want it. They both want to make their way over to Shanghai. But there was uh, one thing, though, that uh, Baby Bay, you had pointed out before, and I think was very, uh, very astute, which was the breach, right? The yeah. breach definitely caused a lot of problems for 100 Thieves, and well, shows in the results. Yeah, from the get go. <laughs> no pun intended. But this breach done on purpose from Mazino, but the actual setup was a B stack. So they funneled all of 100 Thieves into the B hit on purpose because 100 Thieves, they don't have the breach of their own, so they want to avoid going against the breach. And, and it just dismantled their pistol round. Oh, and the truth is they did that so effectively against Loud last night. Yeah. yeah. On Bind, they, as soon as they saw the fault line, they would rotate away. Leviathan obviously watched what happened on Bind last night, and they played that to their advantage. It was gorgeous to watch. Yeah, they most definitely did, of course. So, uh, looking at the series as a whole, though, you got to give love, of course, Osbos and Cryo. Big Cryo, Two man. big performances there, uh, without a doubt. But, you know, Osbos, I mean, he was leveling up. He was, I, I would say leveling up. He was heating up. Osbos is level 100 already. But he was heating up uh, in that game. That's exactly what Leviathan needed, that kick in the butt, if you will. He brought them back into the game and into the series. He was getting so many first kills early on in attack when yeah. you know they were coming off getting smoked map one, right? So massive turnaround for the entire team just from him alone, yeah. which not the first time we've seen that, obviously. I mean, alongside us, us King also went nuts on first touches. Like, I think he was 6-0 in first kills, first death mm -hmm. or something like that. Like, he had massive impact, not only in the way the macro was played and the way he was calling the game, but also in his individual stats. He was yeah. huge. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Let's see, though, if he can keep that going as we get ready for map three. And this is going to be an interesting one as we take a trip over to the frozen tundra of Icebox. And Wyatt, well, we saw 100 Thieves here. I mean, I, I, I just don't know what to expect at this point. Well, what I'm looking to expect is we're going to see basically, a, well, not even basically, we're going to see the exact same comps from 100 Thieves match yesterday against Loud. Led played the same thing, yep. the double controller with the Harbor and the Viper. And we saw how effective Cryo's offing was against that composition that doesn't have some of those deep tools to push you off angles, like the KO knife when he was holding back yellow. Yep. Spots like that where he was just getting free kill after free kill facing. If 100 Thieves on defense win the pistol round, get the economy rolling, get the early off, Cryo is going to be a menace. The difference here is you're not going up against QCK. You're going up against Aspas, which is, is like true. pretty ironic, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, because, it actually is. Because they just beat Loud, but now they're going to have to beat the main guy who made a name for himself on Loud. And I don't think Aspas is going to just fall over like QCK did yesterday. No, I mean, there's no chance that we see that sort of performance out of a player like Aspas, but I think on the other side, as this continue, as this conversation continues, we haven't seen Cryo in a duelist role this entire series. That's right. Now we're seeing him on Jet, where he can fight back in a way yeah. that's way more for himself, a lot more mobile. It, I mean, this is just going to be insane. If we're robbed of a bad, of a good matchup between Cryo and Aspas, yeah. I'm done. I just want one <laughs> just updraft night duel. That's all I want. Just <laughs> anime one. battle. Yeah. Anime yeah. battle. You know, with some spinning, with some gita on there. I would just give it, give it to me all. <laughs> it's going to be fascinating, though. Whether or not Leviathan can pull this one through. I mean, fellas, we're we're here. We're at the end. Uh, everyone's still feeling confident in their predictions. <laughs>
I'm still feeling confident in Hunt yeah. Thieves on this map. Yeah, I mean, I think this entire map pool has been pretty good for them overall. The fact that they kept it that close for me on Sunset does say a lot. All right, folks. Well, this is it. Riot Games Arena. Let's go ahead and find out who is going to be moving on, who is going to be joining G2 in Shanghai. Let's send it back over to your casters for the final map. It's Vansili and Riv. Thank you, GB. I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Now, Icebox, the map decider between these two teams. A map here that 100 Thieves looked amazing. Crowd Cells going nuclear against yeah. Loud, where Leviathan had a chance to see all of that with the comp that they also use, a double controller. So I'm, I'm with the boys. I'm excited for a Jet versus Jet. Ospos yeah. versus Cryo. I'm hoping it's going to deliver. My brain still goes back to Ospos doing uh, his Blade Storm round versus C9, where he's just updrafting in their spawn because that's where somehow he ended with still having updraft and just taking out. There is some things that that man does you just have to see over and over again. And I think we're going <laughs> to get both teams making those plays as we get here into map three of the series. We have made it. Let's see if we get some more OT on this too. Four stack towards Aether. 100 Thieves and already the orb focus here for Asuna to get that thrash up so effective to retake the A site and be able to cycle out B. The focus for Leviathan here is to just slowly work the map, a B focus to start. And Calm invested here into the Eldron at the beginning just to try to keep that stack out towards that A site. And Bustio, he's solo here towards B. Three ghosts right now, 400 Thieves, Sheriff in the hands of Aspas as per usual. And he's creeping up here towards this site. And that is a way to start it. Sights of Bustio in his crosshair. A dome and a plant for yeah, Leviathan. That feels like one of those looking at the mini maps for a moment. Aspas found the right one to catch Bustio on autopilot there. Slow rotation in now. Right there. Not too much utility. It's going to be coming down to common text with that dart and this molly you just heard thrown. A good hit for Asuna. Two shock darts to clear out one side, and Cryo's going to try to separate some crosshairs at yellow here. And Bang doesn't have a poison orb, not even needed. They're all falling instantly. Ooh. No chance here to come out to even tap on that spike. All the shots landing in favor of Leviathan as they continue their momentum from an OT win from that second map of Sunset. Yeah, great swing there. We're seeing that Leviathan no push, right? They stick together. They just did it on Sunset into B main, back to B main, staying together. Maybe once they get guns, we'll see a bit more of a push forward with this harbor composition as it would work that way but really smart stuff and playing much more behind each other here with confidence as we come in to map three and start off that pistol. Over towards A, they're still gonna meet Asuna trying to get the orb. Let's we'll see how long it takes for him to figure it out. Cascade and whatnot are gonna go out to deny this and it didn't take them long, Vans. They predicted on the second round. Haven't seen that combination in a very long time yeah. but actually landed <laughs> this time around. At least the orb did get picked up. You're farming up this orb here for 100 Thieves, and that is one small win condition on your end in this full eagle that you have. Spike down, this is silly sometimes. Because why not? Why right? not? Boost you in the back. Nice shot by King, though, and it looks like Leviathan has been activated in this third map. And that's a lot of money. What was that, a Tex on a Ghost? And still the Sheriff there for King, so they didn't really even purchase to come into that next round. Always feels good to win a round like that. And just boop. Nice timing. Because Molly has to bounce, Shock Dart has to come in easy. A little bit slower, so the really nice protocol there. And now Austin has to think twice. And this is what was the silver hero play. Yeah. A single hero play for 100 Thieves, forcing out the op in round three. Glass cannon for Cryo Cells looking towards the A site. Aspas with the updraft on the top of pipes. It looks like 100 Thieves, they want to answer right away. Rotating plays around the map. In the bonus round, Aspas goes up, takes out turret that was over in kitchen. And now they have to focus on that area to see who's pushing where. So just Aspas going on to taking out turret. 100 Thieves have to consider a different setup here. And that operator is going to be online at long. Lack of information oh, forces them really to go for these over rotates, right? You see EU, no utility on yep. this Sova. The turret being down, yes, definitely difficult. Oof. As now for Leviathan, they know the op is there and look at them pull back towards the A site. Okay. 
They were looking to maybe re-hit here as they cut noise and trying to insert King towards him enemy lines behind enemy lines, and he gets denied here by Bustio. Ooh. Now a chance for Austin to fight here inside this A site. Delay with the Mosh. Wingman being thrown just to try to push him back and allow here Cryo with no dash to land the first kill. Claw three! Oh! In the dome! Beautiful anchor by Hunter Thieves! Absolutely nasty from Cryo. Separating enough distance, putting himself to the wall and knowing he could get that. Was it no scope? Maybe quick did it did it did it move? God, it looked like a no-scope. Oh, that's just no-scope. Didn't even thread in a right click. The crouch to even pull the crosshair oh, up. Oh, nasty. Who else? Who else to do it right now? Game three to bring bonus into 100 Thieves' favor. But Cryo with the off. Now they focus it towards Long B. He's going to try to be the sniper, change position each time here and be a threat to Leviathan. They just saw him as the wall came down. The dart was broken just behind by Bangs to put him in this aggressive position. But the clock timing down, the high tide also being utilized at the beginning of the round for Leviathan. Trying to activate Tex on one end and Asna trying to swing behind the L drone to catch Tex. That's just gonna slow things back. Tex falls, gives him a chance here for Asana! Or sorry for Cryo to get that pick up to Aspas. Oof. They're still moving. That's gonna be a lurk here from Com. Thinking that they won't still be watching mid, but Bustio has eyes on it. EU takes the position that Asuna just fell off of. And they still have coverage here on screen. Yeah, nice beat and switch. He almost caught him as the dizzy did blind. Mazzino forced to fall back in front of 410. Wall oh, coming up the game. Players running through. And there's Asuna storming in. It's looking like a clean hold. Another fall is two in a row now for 100 Thieves. Uh, that right there, what you witness between EU and Asna is literally believing in your teammate. EU didn't believe that he had to look at the wall, that he had to turn, trusting in Asna to hit those shots and come in. Really stellar stuff here from 100 Thieves. That's just wild. Continuing to be quick on the trigger is Asuna with this Phantom that you mentioned on that first map. Show super fast with the transitions and the movement here. Really benefiting him in these plays. All right. They go again to try and just see if this orb control is in the mind of 100 Thieves. Crowd behind them here as they pick up two rounds. Operator still for Cryo as he's on top of yellow and the A focus starts to get a little stronger for 100 Thieves here as they call Lev in the right spot. And being on top of yellow allows Bang to push forward. Execution from Leviathan though, they want to use a lot now towards this A site. Thrash now being utilized, Hello. it does attain one, but no opportunities to follow up to get that pick. On the top though of Pipes, Osmos above the Viper wall, gets that kill onto Asuna. No trade as he dashes away safely. An advantage now for Leviathan to rework that map, rework that site with a lore buy. Nice little piece of scaling here by Lev. Or being thrown up as well. Map is now taken over on the A side by Leviathan and Delgado. Close range with the shorty and couldn't get that pick. Bang though at least trades it out on a three versus one. Knows that Osbos is pushing forward and there's an easy headshot. Still healthy. Snake bite at the ready. Puts it through the wall, but Messina closes that gap. A thrifty answered back by Leviathan. Oh my gosh. Lev are striking hard right now. Being able to go towards that mid area, losing a few, and then they flex back towards A to recover the round. Really, the way that they took the right side of the site and started pushing 100 Thieves out ever so slowly was so nicely done here. It looked like they were stalled out, but they took the spaces, they took the corners together, and Lev got exactly what they needed in positioning there. Operator still alive for, for Cryo. Bladestorm ready. We could get that dueling blade storms that we're looking for from both sides way. here. It's a Rappella. Aspas is activated. Rappella cross. You just saw there the up drop the dash forward. Oh. No anime battle. Only a blades out now for Aspas. Wide across the map, and it's the Hunter's Fury that connects onto Asuna. Up now dropped. Players also drop from Hunter Thieves towards the A site. A safe plan now for Leviathan as they now hold their spots up towards a forward position at the A site. 
Lucio trying to find a timing, but things are looking pretty good now for Leviathan to hold those fundies. Wow. Looking to move into a flawless of their own in round number six. Yeah, a hundred thieves really putting themselves in a tight spot to just start this one off. Cryo going that much that forward with the off on a round. Lev has a few ultimates ready uh, with the speed Lev has been playing here. You can't fault him. Sometimes you got to throw a wrench in your opponent's uh, strategy to make it work. But Lev reading that one flawlessly, instantly take down the priority op. Yeah. And the Reckoning really threw 100 Thieves for a loop to start off there. Just instant all coming from Mazzino. Squash that defensive play for 100 Thieves. Yeah. Crazy how Aspas was able to float around that A site for so long, but <laughs> it was also seeing from that play that 100 Thieves only had two players there on yeah. the defensive side, putting a lot of eggs in, that, in the basket of getting Kryo in that fourth position to try to get an off pick to be able to dash away. But Leviathan continues to find or starts to find great result out of the reckoning that they're having mm -hmm. here on their attack side, just like Loudhead on farming the reckoning on their side too. It allows for them to create that space here for the post plan positions that you currently see from Leviathan. Let's see how hard of these can be active coming into this next one. Looks like Cryo gets the activation on, only armor by there. Still bring it over Util from last round. So they're pretty set to come into this one. But so is Leviathan. 4A now for 100 Thieves, and they're going to be calling it right off the bat here. But Leviathan, they've done really nice at rotating out of these situations or having a late flank come in from someone like Mazino or Calm to really turn the tide of these rounds when it looks like everybody's just going straight for the site to start. Look, push down mid could be coming from 100 Thieves too. So you could potentially have double recon dart coming through as well. Actually, not being used by EU and Calm, they're just gonna decide to save this after the first initial piece of util towards that orb control attempt from 100 Thieves. Bladestorm popped out in the meanwhile by 100 Thieves. They're looking to counteract now on that util. There's Cryo getting that first big full screen, but Asura's there traded off against Calm. Advantage continues for 100 Thieves as the spike has been dropped just in between 410 and Maze. Wingman also finally spots one in the front, does get the clap onto Aspas. Giving it a chance now for 100 Thieves to group up. Yeah, first time there's a big flank from 100 Thieves. Bustio destroys the turret. You see Lev push into sight immediately, trying to fight forward. Take the space. Tex got the punish onto Asuna, but it continues to go back and forth. A one versus two. Aspas. Aspas, who's been good here on that second map to activate on that raise, trying to do so on Jet. Previous round has been on point indeed, and he grabs that spike and could work that site around the eight. 30 seconds left. 100 Thieves, they just want to wait for the sound cues. Swinging back out, Busio does get a little bit of pot damage there and trying to get the safe plant, forcing out the first recon, or should I say shock darts coming through. 14 oh, seconds left now, making some noise. A second tap. Recon now being pinged out, towards the back. Knows here that there's no full plant coming through from Leviathan in the end. And Aspas now with no time left. The round will come in for 100 Thieves with a beautiful display of patience. Wow. Really great comms there to keep it cool by 100 Thieves. They pulled themselves in with another round and one of the ones we see going out on timing here for the first of this series, as you see the teams really start to pressure each other. Operator's still going to be alive here. 100 Thieves, I think, are starting to understand that they can stall out Leviathan. They'll play this long game. And it, it gave Bustio a pretty good uh, idea of what was going on mid. They were able to kind of lurk up B with Bang there and get an, a better idea of Lev's positioning. So I expect to see that a little bit more from 100 Thieves. Already Bustio taking the lower mid trying to get that info. And Cryo's trying to find some sort of bobbing ponytail at the top of belt behind a cascade as he gets a reposition from screens. Al Jones being used out now. And uh, that's the cue. Leviathan knows there's another off. In the hands of Cryocells is using the glass cannon. And he hands that shot onto Aspas behind a toxic screen as it comes up. Beautiful first blood, 400 Thieves. 
That will stop Leviathan for the reset. Cascade now. They bunched up the crossfire set up by 100 Thieves. Mazzino trying to save the round, but it'll get denied. 100 Thieves tie up the game. Really great defense by 100 Thieves as soon as they recognize that was the site. Like we said, they're ready for delay, but also the fight all the way across the back, kind of just like a half moon. Two on the left, two on the right. They're playing the buddy system so well there. Lev need to focus something else now it seems like 100 thieves have this a site on lockdown even with a few double kills coming in you can see that teamwork right behind each other to get the frags get the kills and bring in the w's lockdown is now here so even if 100 thieves don't want to go a little hard they can stay back but already on pipes cryo takes position pushed off by the bolt the sonar bolt rather and they just quiet down again here. So Leviathan finally breaks away from this A strategy. Bustio's been working on mid the last few rounds, throwing Alarm Bot there and B, trying to make sure there's no push. Still keeps an eye on it. They tried to break the, re uh, the turret at the beginning here for Leviathan towards Boiler, but it's actually placed towards Kitchen, which then you see as they cut Norris for Leviathan, Hunter Thieves have to use Util. I'll drone out to hurt the A site, realizing there's nobody there. So that's going to put bang, bang in a situation where he's going to get contested, potentially. Orb now picked up, Reckoning ready. Bank now play the off angle in. There's no ping, no audio coming through, but the Owl Drone will actually there's spot EU. him. And there's EU with the Hunter's Fury of his own. Gets that tag, but Osboss is dancing around to get these picks. Meanwhile, though, King has fallen. But they still have one wall to work with, but it's been used towards that spawn, so they'll probably have to reset before left. getting that plan. Cascade allowing Cryo to push forward, and a shock dart's on to that site. Spike, Spike is B. now down. Continuing to be on fire is Cryo Cells landing another shot. Aspas another chance. But BB too late with 10 seconds left. Ten seconds and a left. spike being out of reach. Jump spot spots him, and they'll let him live. What is this? 2,900 credits if it's still lost rounds for Lev. So a few members are right around 3,000. Could get some buys in there, but 100 Thieves are doing a lot of damage right now to the Lev economy. The operator is striking true in big, big props to EU this round. Taking out the Viper means one of the biggest things that Lev want to be able to take that B site is gone. They only rely on Harbor Wall, and you saw how easy it was for Cryo to start getting those long range shots as the site was no longer split vertically or diagonally, if you will. A timeout now called by Leviathan. 100 Thieves with this operator have quite a bit of an answer to what Lev's been bringing, so they don't have to change much. Lev has to discuss what they need to do. Maybe some mid control here or flex a little bit more on the turret again. The one round Ospos took out turret, two rotated off of A from 100 Thieves right away. Whether or not that's comfort to the play retake or go check and see who's pushing kitchen, you're getting 100 Thieves to move. And that's that's just a goal of the round right off the bat. Because if it's going to be an operator on that angle, you, you want it to be off that angle for at least a moment. Easy yeah. to do that with comms utility, but the follow-up has been so good from Cryo on the repeat. Definitely looks it's like tough. you have to be a little bit more active. You have for to be. Leviathan around the map, trying to bring the fight face front against Cryo Cells. Doesn't seem to be a winning formula right now for Leviathan on their attack, but looks like they want to try at least that same type of control towards the pipes at the beginning. Using Cascade to push up to. It's a low buy, too. You can see kind of just how much they're taking hits here. 3-2 split. They are going to focus a little bit towards mid, whether or not they go. They can read Bustio's movement or if anybody from 100 Thieves takes a peek as well. So overall, just getting more info, a slightly different look from Lev and how they may approach the round here. Is they're not going B right away. Haspas found the timing though. He might be able to catch Cryo Cells, who then decides to fall back. So the six cents coming out from the Star Duelist of 100 Thieves. Meanwhile, Pit coming out on the defense for 100 Thieves to block and isolate the B site. Now forcing the players to work towards mid like you want it, Riv, but there's players there for 100 Thieves to greet them. Hello. But Busio loses first. Family photo from Leviathan there waiting for the peak. And they read that push. It's been so much good info here. Now up through orange, they're going to hit site and have a really good control from both. Especially when EU falls there you from the top run. of kitchen. 
Lockdown being activated as you could potentially still hold the pit towards that B main. And again, you leave Cryo Cells unguarded. He'll capitalize on that kill. Pit now used on the attack. Bang finally shows up here outside of his pit. But got punished by Mazino. Grouped up in a buddy system with Tex. And things are looking pretty grim now for 100 Thieves to try to retake this site with an AWP. Really cool round by Leviathan here. Standing. They play off a little precedent. They focus towards A, pull out of A with what Aspas was doing because every time 100 Thieves sees Aspas, you got to think, oh, that's the hit, right? So really nice adjustment by Leviathan to then put it towards B as Aspas was inserted A. And now Cryo gets taken down. Do they grab it? That'd be the question. I think Aspas wants to go a little faster than an operator would play for the squad right now. So Lev, do not even look at the op. Cryo will, however, reach back into the pocket and they get a purchase in there. And that's the thing. I, I love this call no matter what here from Bustio. Hey, just stay behind enemy lines. You're in a three versus one. Don't save the op. Make it expensive yep. against Leviathan. You can try to continue to farm kills, landing every single one of these shots. Get your Blade Storm up ASAP. And he only needs one kill or one death for that. Speaking of cryo cells, game tying up five to five. And Leviathan continues with that recipe of working with the shock darts. Cascade! And cryo cells uses a different five angle. Catches Mazzino. And that's a key piece of utility for Leviathan on their executions. At least on either side. So big. They were ready to rerun that strat. Without Mazzino's reckoning there, it gives cryo so much freedom. And that's what they were looking for the first time we saw this play. Good identification of Aspas. And now they can kind of just stay back and rest on these anchor spots right now. Bustio has already got great info on mid peaked up and Kitchen is watched back by Bang. So Leviathan trying to get this lurk at B or mid to have some kind of return on investment as A is waiting for that action. Everything's being watched though, right? It is. Recon are now pings king, but this might be. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it instantly puts out the lockdown. And that pivots now oh, Leviathan, who have <laughs> inserted two players early towards this A site, but they decide to fall back. So there's a little bit of miscommunication coming through. King telling everybody else to turn back and fight towards this A site. But look at this. After the ult, everybody from the Thieves are now towards the A site. What a read. 30 seconds left. Lucio with the first pick, too. That's Osmos falling oh, down. Oh, dinged here through the nest and sprayed through the walls. Busio with the pick, Busio with the second, and make that even a third of the round. Giving 100 Thieves a chance now, taking the lead in its first half. There's some of those rounds where 100 Thieves just basically says, you're going to do what we want you to do. And there, just a few alts, the way they were holding the map, Leviathan again, not finding early frags, losing Mazino there for again, one left. of their pivotal pieces of utility. You see how disjointed they are when they lose King or Mazino so early. The site take is not as strong. And that's a big one coming in from 100 Thieves. Lockdown used to force the hand of Leviathan. Thrash is ready with Blade Storm. One pip for Ospas's alt here. Look at that pathing was so quick to try to yeah. punish Cryo. Cryo's trying to work out towards the pipes. But it's a different setup for 100 Thieves. They're going fast. A 4-1 setup on the B side instead, anticipating a B hit. But it's a bad read allowing Leviathan to overtake the site. There's a thrash though to try to clear up towards the back. It will Ooh. not clear Aspas, which gives a chance now for Leviathan to be in great positions. There's that first blood. And unattended is Aspas capitalizing on those two kills and dashed away. Playing around Aspas against the big. Reckoning through to answer back. Getting the stuns, getting some pot damage done. And disadvantage for 100 Thieves. Look how late Bang is as well to try to help with his teammates. They're afraid of calm on that late lurk. Finally meets up with the rest. No wingmen available to start the defuse. An opportunity now for Leviathan to tie up the game, leaving Austin alone as his teammates fall. Tap on that spike finally. Yeah. And Kong wow. sweeps up that last kill. It's a clean slate for the second half in this no third map of the series. Switching Both sides. teams measuring up so good in this final matchup. 6-6 six, six at the half after what we saw in the first two games. Just being able to read and route each other. Everyone's starting to step up as we would expect. 12 and 8 Aspas on top. Cryo 13 and 7. The duelists are going at it. Punch for punch right now. And I can't wait to see what we have for the second half. Yeah, I want to start the second half right away. So let's throw it back here to the desk to analyze at least the first half.
Thank you so much for that, fellas. And what a first half on Icebox that was. Exactly what you want to see for a qualification matchup for Masters Shanghai. Of course, 100 Thieves, Leviathan giving it their all. But let's dive into this here because, uh, look, Cryo and Aspas putting on a show for sure. Dude, it feels like late in a basketball game, shot clock is off. It's a tie game, and you've let your, your point guard just call an ISO, and whoever wins out is going to win the game. And that's how <laughs> that's, I love that this is how the series is ending with the stakes that are on the line. It's Cryo against Aspas. Who's going to come out on top? I mean, the defensive op shots, that first kill with the Sheriff to open the game up from Aspas on the pistol oh, that, yeah. was goddamn filthy. But just seeing Cryo in this state is amazing. It's what... 100 Thieves fans in the community, what we wanted from him when he joined the team. And I feel like we're really finally getting him at his best now. He had some moments, but it hasn't been to this level. And it's just such a, a, a privilege, I guess, to be able to see him in this state right now. Yeah, and he's answering a lot of questions that we had. How would he do against Aspas? Is he going to keep up the form that he had yesterday? And he is. I mean, he looks so comfortable in these situations, and he's so controlled. He's not panicking. He's not hitting a panic button. He's very patient with his shots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's hard to see, though, where, you know, who is going to give first in this situation, yeah. though? Yeah. I don't know who has the edge right now. This yeah. is crazy. I, I, honestly, what it probably is, even though the duelists are going head-to-head, -head, I think everybody else on both sides need to step up for their duelists. Sure. And whoever can do that the best as a cohesive unit, I think will take the series away. Yeah, of course, folks, this is it. Masters Shanghai on the line. Win this, you're going to China. Lose this, you get one more opportunity, but it's going to be a difficult one. Let's see who closes it out and send it back over to Riv and Vance. Is it going to be the Thieves or Leviathan now to close out the series? Starting things off now on that second half. Look at how aggressive we're looking to start 400 Thieves, at least in weaponry. Four ghosts and a sheriff. Leviathan with utility for delay. I feel like 100 Thieves play this slow until they get those weapons together. Four ghosts and a sheriff for the yeah. damage you do when everybody's surrounded by each other, not trying to just pick off headshots. Yeah, you can see already collecting, inserting, just Boostio into A for now, and then they're gonna have this four death ball start to work towards that left side. Oh my God, nostalgia rings through the arena as we get our first pistol. Boss once again with the first blood. Cryo to fall, mirror matchup for the Jets. But it's the one from Leviathan that stands up in the end. Now it forces 100 Thieves to make a bit of noise and also to pivot towards the A site. King was standing there here with Calm. Still has a recon dart to work with. He's gonna decide to fall back here towards that spawn so he can shock dart towards the default spot. EU pushing forward though. No tap, no kill. Wingman now with the, the with the plant on the top of the A tower. Thanks, little man. After the plant though, there's only two players left alive. 400 Thieves make that only EU. Under heavy pressure, caught in a reload. Another pistol in the favor of Leviathan. They get the defuse. Aspas is going to be focused on this one. Nicely done. A lot of Leviathan just coming from the same spot as the mini map is littered towards that top rafter side and one at screen. So behind each other the whole time, doing a great job of being able to take down 100 Thieves. And they get some nice weapon upgrades on that too, as they can find on the ground. Aspas stays on the Sheriff. Bulldogs and Spectres for the rest of the squad. What a good start for Lev here. It, rarely, as say, in this series, were they really in the uh, in control at the beginning of these halves. Now we can see if they can start to run away with it because 100 Thieves usually hits back so hard on bonus or round four. Can Lev keep this under control? Outlaw for Aspas. They're going to tag on some of those low or no armors for this round. And they're just going to play it pretty safe. There's one of them from Jenny. And that's one ghost down, but they also still invested into two shares for 100 Thieves, pivoting back away from the Outlaw, back towards this B-side delay that they have on the defense for Leviathan. But still with a double initiator set up here for 100 Thieves, they could try to scale up with Util, but will decide instead to at least try to get a plant down and grab the orb, farming it up for EU. I mean, he's already three ult yeah. orbs away here from an ult. There's that first piece of util, an opportunity to plant right after. Cascade Denial goes out. And the high tide follows as well. Great stall. So yeah, super stall right now. You're gonna have to get a silver dart or something else through here if they really wanna clear it before this wall goes down. So just biding their time. 
And still, Lev is comfortable in their positioning. They haven't moved from the original start on this round. The respect here given by Leviathan, knowing the 100 Thieves could work around the map with these calls that Boosio has been doing since their series against Loud could call some crazy audible left. and to keep those players posted in their spots. Dizzy pushed him away, allowing 100 Thieves to get a plant on top of that. And a nice shot from EU getting closer and closer to the Hunter's Fury. And that space that's been given 400 Thieves has been taken by the Thieves. Cry with the off angle. Knows that there's one close. It's calm. Shot dart misses, but his shots connect. And it goes back to one. Left behind for Leviathan. They know he has an outlaw too, so they're not going to peek. Back to a Spectre though. Clock is ticking on that spike. Last boss has to move up and be fairly quick. There's a drive-by on that Spectre. Oh, Great retreat by wow. EU. The crossfire is being set up on top of that. And bang! Wins it with the Bulldog. The Thrifty on the pistols for 100 Thieves to tie up the game. What a pickpocket on Leviathan for round two. I just said, will they have control of the beginning of the game? And it looks like no. Right away, 100 Thieves clap back. What positioning there. Just not allowing Lev to really gain any control on that site as they Man. come back into it. And the share of shots, absolutely absurd here from 100 T. My word, they're right on the guns. Leviathan has to do some thinking now on how they're going to make these next few rounds work. And they're pinging some places here towards the A site. They just want to get the orb. Some silver lining on the aggression coming out from 100 Thieves to enter That's back two. on that aggression. That's two, but a and death three. ensues yeah. on top of that. And that's 100 Thieves now taking over this A site. Last line of defense behind the wall. Just waiting for it to come down. And the Owl Drone's even going to help Cryo get that big onto Tex. An easy one and clean, losing only yeah. two in the process. They're starting to really bring up the economy in their favor for 100 Thieves. You don't want that round to be indecisive at all. 100 Thieves should be running through. They should be farming the Ecos and bringing it to their economy. Now they are doing very well. Two or three rounds it's going to take for Leviathan to get through this. So what's their answer? Does Lev start pushing? Do they feel comfortable on their first gun round to just sit back and play the defensive side? Allow the calls to come in from King on the rotations? We will have to see. They're actually playing it very spread out now. More of a retake formation here to allow 100 Thieves space and just try to get info on where they're moving. Right now, it is fast on the tracks towards A. Seems to be sunset all over again. Yeah. A human death ball of five players for the Thieves. Trying to break and enter towards the A site. Already at a fast pivot and a fast rotate from Leviathan, though. They already have also five players towards this A site. A plant attempt on the top of the A tower. The spray is coming across and it connects. A little bit of a pause and a delay here as Busio gets the opener. King! Funny openings on the left side of Dice! Hunter Fury finally pings him! As Busio gets that pick onto Tex. Two versus two, Busio taps on that spike. King trying to move forward. Oh, the time. Trying to let EU get that trade. It will! King is denied the ace! As Calm now is spotted with the L drone. Shot dart misses by EU. Second one bouncing across, trying to do some damage. Recon also will get that ping. Actually, it won't. It gives the information at least yeah. so that Calm is towards the spawn. And a chance here for EU to move up on the top of the A tower. But couldn't punish Calm on that jiggle peak. 30 seconds left. I have the spike. He's trying he to beat him. it out here, yeah, for Calm to swing back out. The timing on that one, too, to swing back towards Dice. An opportunity now for Calm to walk inside the site as EU sticks that spike. Oh, he's go. This is a timing, this is an opportunity! A mistake coming out from EU! Renders costly! 400 Thieves! Oh my word! At the last second, the pressure these players are under right now! He pulls off of the, the, the spike plant thinking it went down. Great collect there, coming out of Leviathan. Smart play by Calm, been in that situation many a time and just waits it out for his opponent to make the mistake. Oh my gosh. And then the peak. Lace is out. There you go, yeah. You gotta hold it right. All right, we hop into our next round, round 17, as we start to move into A here already. It's starting to make Lev move towards the right side of the site, and I think 100 Thieves are realizing the quicker they play here and get into position, the more comfortable they feel. So it instantly approach this position to hit A site, but that's when it slows down. 
and they wait to get that utility to come out of EU. That's a silver lining here. The economy is still quite low. Tex only has a Guardian coming in for the side of Leviathan, but they have the Hunter's Fury already being expensed now for off. It does get the instant tag in to kill onto Asuna as Leviathan are swarming back behind the utility set by Mazzino. A tap on the spike for Tex to swing up from Bustio, though. An opportunity to get it done. Orb at the ready, Bustio trying to find that timing, trying to find Masino as the dash comes away. The updraft too, to allow Masino to get that pick. Nicely done by Atmos in the end, to become that bait. The death said they wanted a little Jira, there you go. Spin him around, break the crosshairs, <laughs> and Mazzino comes flying through to collect the kill. So nicely done here by Leviathan to keep pushing the pace as they retake the site. 100 Thieves gets in and Lev is, is ready to use a bit of util back up, let the answer come through, and then they've been just absolutely flooding, waterfalling in through this Raptor's position with the one take towards screens. And once they have that back part of the site, they've locked themselves into being able to retake. 100 Thieves have to prevent that fall off from Raptors if possible. It's become so tough though. Ultimates just about everywhere on the side, 100 Thieves here. And an answer with that reckoning and as well as the Viper's Pit from King could slow down 100 Thieves. Aspas with the strongest toes on the side of the box is now forced to dash away. Couldn't get that pick as 100 Thieves. Run. The amount of times that he tried okay. to hit towards this A site decides to move really quickly towards B. The time to plant looking at this game seems to be so fast. As you're seeing this action unravel non-stop, Bang trying to find that timing outside the radius of that lockdown. And they lose the player early as Austin up with across. A three versus three though. Reckoning and Tex getting a pick. Cryocell's now getting pinged out, trying to push towards the spawn. Head to head against no the way. wins it. Shot darts trying to bounce out from Snowman. And Cryo stays up. Lockdown now being used on the other end though, but EU protects it. No opportunity to try to go for the defuse as it's planted out in the open. Calm forces them out by tapping on that spike. Out of and with the recon dart, they know here that Calm went for that tap and tries to run away. Denied by Cryo. We're getting into these brawls round after round here, Riv. So well answered there by 100 Thieves to find the win. Just looking at the economy right now, it's getting a little hurtful on that side of Lev as they go lower and lower. Great pick of that kill from Cryo. The, we're seeing some of these kills that should not be happening. The fact that he was able to wide swing and also kind of reface that position after being pinged. Mazzino, I think, got caught up on the ping and was just aiming at the wrong position once they came out. These little mistakes. They're going to be picked up as errors by your opponent. You way. cannot afford to make them. Straightforward goes Lev, though. Jet anime battle. The dash away here from Osboss. Pushing forward, and it's Osboss. That's going to win it. 25 HP remaining as he falls back. Already testing each other here on round 19. Nine to nine as they start making their way towards B. 100 Thieves looks pretty confident. This is going to be the site they want. Bang plants, oh, yeah. bang Viper's Monster Pit. On the loose. And a thrash, too, being used on the attack for 100 Thieves just to clear out the space behind B. Site It's clear. And this time, Nobita towards the air, dropped by EU. And Bold Duel is down. Meanwhile, we are still training kills here outside of this B site. The pit is now covering the forefront of that B area, forcing now Leviathan to wrap around towards the back. And you already see here Tex moving forward, trying to find some picks, trying to find something on the top of green. And they're holding enemy lines. He hurt the snake by being thrown close, and he lines them both up. Nicely done in the end, Asuna's alone, there's that first. Mosh now being thrown, it's halfway, looking to get stuck here actually by Calm. No lineup to hit towards the defuse. Tex with the pick, Tex with the backstab. Leviathan back in the lead. Oh, what a round from Tex. Every time we see Vipers all going out recently, it's so hard if you're down in numbers, you're forced to play in the pit, and the other team has so much room to encroach in on the pit. Tex walks in from the backside, absolutely discombobulates everything that 100 Thieves has working for him. What a round. One of those moments where there's fear of that flank to continue, right? The third player bringing Asuna was still watching that flank back towards green again. 
They've been so good for Leviathan. You know, with this composition, there's always going to be somebody flanking around, usually. Absolutely. And that miscom allows Tex to even catch two off guard off position inside that pit. So that is definitely going to be a timeout being called now by Zix just to try to oh my iron God. that out, right? <laughs> Trying to iron out the second half. I mean, we have to 17 seconds go by. Just look at the scoreboard when we get back in. These teams are having to deal with going through low buy situations so often, going back into gun rounds, Crazy not part, being yeah. able to get your gun rounds in. And then losing rounds, you should be winning to these thrifties. We see keep some scene come out. That round, more of a balanced one between both, but Lev coming right back. That's a great call since round number 16. It's, despite it, losing rounds on 100 Thieves aside, this is wild. they're always coming out with rifles. Yet yeah, slightly lower, two Bulldogs in hand around the rifles. And they're trying to continue this pace and they still want to take control of this half. But Leviathan are slowly, right here. seems to be Caution finding an answer here. now on these pulse plant situation from 100 Thesis plants. Somebody's there. Dizzy spots our spot go towards the jail. Okay, and that's an out. early dash away, yeah. There's my buddy. Got this Viper's Pit over towards B already. Leviathan trying to direct 100 Thieves into this defensive squad. But it's up to Cryo. Moving forward with the drone on the front lines. The team's about to follow, and here comes the util. Ospos in trouble. Recon indeed. Ospos was forced to drop down towards that side, and Cryo capitalizes on that kill, pushing forward towards that site. Women looking to get the plant. Looks like at the top of the tower again. Cryo pushing forward, ready for a trade with EU. As they're all grouped up at this moment, and a wall bank comes across, denies that plan, but at least Osno is there for the first trade. Snake bites not being thrown. Crow holding his ground two towards the back of the site. Looking too good now on Lev's attempt to flood retake. Two players was what was needed at the bottom of that balcony. Now leaving Tex alone, and he's looking for a fight still. Not gonna happen. Cryo got that last kill, and it's deja vu from that position he played a little while back. Literally getting a 3-4K from there. It just feels so comfortable. 100 Thieves come right back, and we go back and forth in the rounds. So each time this happens, when you win a round, you get 3,000. So, right, you, you're, you want to buy. But the next round, if you lose, you get 1,900 because it resets your loss bonus. So that's what's making it so tough in this economy right now in the game to get the weapons they want, get the util they want every round. And we can see the Viet taking a break from that surge and in, in reduction in money to just go for this round try and sort out a low buy so they have buys for 11 and 12 being the possible last few rounds that they want if they can grab this thrifty if they can grab the thrifty but these rounds have somehow snuck by for the teams that are on the lower buys in this series all right lev full b as 100 Thieves is full A here. Looks like they're going to be getting a clean sight. Full A in full sail, and they were playing patiently at the beginning of the round here for the Thieves, knowing the situation for Leviathan in their eco. If they wanted to push aggressively, and they didn't. Lucio was still watching towards his A side, and as he saw, no util being used. It is a call now for 100 Thieves to go back from B to A for this plant. But they wasted enough time right now to have a lot of players coming out now from Leviathan in the back of the spawn. This time, no plant denial. It's in favor of 100 Thieves. Position now again, aggressively behind the A site. Shares are ringing. Trades are coming across. A one for one. Three players spotted towards the screen, one towards the spawn at the top Thieves. of heaven. And yeah, you're just cycling this Guardian and the Guardian is not rendering too much. Okay. Nice post plant hold by 100 Thieves. They're reaching the lead now in the third map. An expected, you have to know it's expected round there for Lev with the lower buy. They're going to call a timeout once they get back into guns, though. But that doesn't mean 100 Thieves is not feel, isn't feeling confident in the momentum space. That round feels so good. Being one away, you know, Bustio's gassing up the team. Everybody's behind each other right now. And they're going to come into this round even stronger, especially, especially since Leviathan is calling a timeout. You're going to get a team going for your opponent's throat here. And I think that's what we might get 100 Thieves doing. Lev being relaxed as ever. Aspas taking the position, assuming. And now we are 30 seconds away from the next round here. Can Lev tie us up once again? Are we going to get another OT? 
15 seconds until the conclusion here of this third map but this timeout renders to be important for leviathan on their protocols of the retake the amount of times that we've seen this cascade coming out from Mazino and how fast they were behind that it was yeah. under these actually even playing further back towards the spawn and trying to play potentially lineups or sprays this time around you've seen a lot of bodies being positioned towards the dice on these pulse plants and there's less utility to try to push them at bay. You need potentially sneak bites at that dice to try to push them out. And that's, again, ironing protocols this time around from Gotek onto Leviathan. All right. So this is two in favor of Thieves. Lev's getting a little bit of that loss bonus so they can buy, but let's focus on where they can go. This ultimate from EU is up. So post plant can be very patient here from 100 Thieves if they don't want to try and get themselves too scaled into the site. It looks like Lev are just going to be playing it safe on their side with space as well. Okay, turrets down. This is going to cause recall, Lev yeah. to move. But it looks like 100 Thieves goes A again. They are, are literally running the strat they feel is most comfortable. They did it with B on Sunset, and it's A right now on the ice box. And it breaks the util two for the Nano Swarm towards our right side, allowing for Asuna to get the Wingman plant for Generator. And already one sneak bite has been used by King. Now the Owl Drone from Com. He does have the Hunter's Fury. This could be a key ult right now for the retake of Leviathan. The sneak bite misses towards Dice, so these aggressive pushes He's are working in the favor of 100 Thieves. Two players based on Elias Boss left alive at the back of the spawn. Top of the balcony, being watched over by 100 Thieves. No opportunity right now for Aspas to even enter towards the doorway. He's hoping here for 100 Thieves to be aggressive, and it's awesome to even cut the rotate. Shots finally Come connects, but and enough. there's Bang with the trade. 100 Thieves! One round away from making it to Shanghai Next here point. while Leviathan may have a broken economy. Slight buy. It definitely is going to be low armor. They have the option to work some ultimates. We take stock right now of what's going on, and 100 Thieves also have those alts. They have everything they could want coming into this final round, and Lev... They chanced so much on that low buy to have a buy here to keep this game going. Just a few rounds ago, this is what they planned for if they couldn't keep it off map point. Quick pickup by Mazzino. Reckoning has been such a big swing for Leviathan in these rounds. 100 Thieves hasn't been able to deal with it. And that tips the scale right now into even situation for the ults. Could be a chess match now between what's currently being used and who will use at the right moments. Dueling Hunter's Fury, Thrash to come out still if they want to take sight, take that space and even pull it back to Asuna for a second Thrash 20 seconds later. Asbos on the top here, a 410. They're, they're ready to fight this right on the front of Maze. Dizzy about to be thrown here. There's the Mosh, the Bonnet, and the dash away. Crown Cell lands that onto Mazino, but there's Calm with the Hunter's Fury. It's going back and forth, but no connection coming through. Crown's down to 4 HP. A chance right now to fight a lockdown already being placed down by Leviathan, and that's going to reset 100 Thieves. And it's been A. They don't. They have not had control of the map. Otherwise, this A strat has been working for them. They aren't covering the map. So this is going to have to be a re-hit with 30 seconds left. The rest of the map is too dangerous. 30 seconds oh, left yeah. with the Thrash. Cryo cells again loose. at 4 HP. An opportunity for Leviathan to still stop this push. Wall comes up at the same time. They They're see not nothing. Space. Picking up the orb at the same time. Picking up that Thrash is going to be... Asuna here, as Asuna's also coming in for the plant. There's Aspas back and forth. Bangalini, two more kills with us, 100 Thieves. King and Calm are left alive for Leviathan. With the chances to stay alive in this fight, lies in their hands. Second track to come through. There's Calm with the first pick. One's being detained. It's up to Calm now just to try to delay that clock. The jump kill somehow. Came down and off. Bangalini picks off. The one piece has been brought to find themselves the victors here in that three versus Leviathan. That man on your screen, Bustio. Has to be empty in the tank at this point, man. The gas this guy delivers to his team to keep them going. The fact that everybody stepped up here, that we got the 100 Thieves Cryo Aspas matchup for the third map, and both of them absolutely delivered in this game.
and 100 Thieves find a way to come out on top. What an amazing series from these two, and it, it's not going to be over for them either. 100 right. Thieves lock it in, and the Vietons still get to look ahead for that chance. This is going to be 100 Thieves' first international event since lock-in, but most importantly, since Champions of 2022. A team that came through with Bustio as the IGL and reinvigorated as a whole. Incredible. And you see how that's turned from the mid of stage one until now, where 100 Thieves are back on top, back into a form with a different roster from 2020 and finding great results yeah. here in 2024. Asuna as well. Who, yes. Who's got something to say now after this performance? In a lot of this performance from Asuna too, didn't have utility come flying over his shoulder. It was an Asuna show on buying a lot of these maps as well. Cryo stepping up. Boothio, exactly. And on Sunset, EU was clapping at B. Absolutely shredding the site so they could continuously get in. And Leviathan, they had answers. They were playing strong. The timeouts were very, very big for the ways they came in. But it did seem like they were always reactive a bit to the way 100 Thieves were playing in the rounds. The 100 Thieves just continued to pull that momentum in their favor. You were talking about Austin that it was being questioned, but Cryo definitely for the last few days even has found some form. And the question was, can he maintain that? Can he also maintain that against Aspas at this point? And they've overcome pretty much everything here as a team. Yeah. And they're looking to be a heavy contender going into Shanghai. Predicted here by Busio yesterday against Loud and making it a reality here by defeating Le Leviathan in the series two to one. You're gonna hear it on the desk, but you know, Cryo here, 315 ACS to Osphos is 250. It was a 26 and 15 to 20 and 17 Jet v. Jet game. I'm, <laughs> and we got the dueling blade storms. I'm yeah. sure GB is elated about that. I'm pretty sure he's happy about that for sure. And that was Aspas that actually won one in the yeah, end. Yeah. But for now, at least there's going to be a second chance for both crew and Leviathan. And that's going to happen later here in the week. But for now, let's toss it down to the floor where Liz is ready with the Verizon post-match interview. Thank you guys so much. I am here with the man of the hour, Asuna himself of 100 Thieves. I see a let's go Asuna. Asuna raised it. All these 100 Thieves signs. Your fans are out in force and you performed for them, Asuna, brilliantly. Mm -hmm. How yeah. do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Uh, I know. I'm here. Question. <laughs> um, it feels really good because this past year has been really rough. Uh, well, like a year and four months with the roster. So it feels really good to finally, you know, make an international stage, especially since our last showing was in Champs. And yeah, I hope we can show up in Shanghai. Well, I think absolutely you can if you perform like that again, no? I hope so. <laughs> you will, yes. <laughs> Something you were just talking about that I wanted to bring up was it's been a kind of tumultuous Mm -hmm. a couple of a bunch of months for 100 Thieves yep. with the roster and just performance wise. When you were kind of in the depths of despair, to borrow a phrase from Mimi from kickoff, did you ever think you would make it to this point to qualify for another international event? Because this is the very first one you've been to in a very long time, Asna. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely didn't feel like we were in depths of despair or anything like that, especially going in with a fresh slate with uh, Busio and Tony. I feel like they had very good ideas on how to fix a team and what they wanted to bring. And, you know, we delivered and we finally, you know, showed what they brought from EG to us. I mean, bringing up Bustio, Zix talked to me yesterday and he said that he was calling things y'all didn't even put into practice. <laughs> and to have that, that dynamic mm -hmm. of an in-game leader, what is that like? Feels really good, but I also want to give credit to everyone on the team for yes, that because everyone on the team gives um, input and what we should be doing. Like Dan on the Icebox attack, he, made a lot of good small adjustments that they were doing and you know helped us win a lot of attack rounds. Obviously, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> I, that's something I want to bring up is uh, the beginning of the year in kickoff, 100 Thieves, and you received a lot of criticism for your performance, your comms, whatever you want to name it. I, I think you proved them wrong despite. So now that you're here and you have qualified for Shanghai, mm -hmm. anything you would like to say? Uh, thank you for all my fans and every... <laughs> And every single hater who told me to learn Chinese, I'm glad because I'm going to Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. All right, one last question. It's either Lev or Crew. Mm -hmm. Who do you think it's going to be? Probably Lev. They have Aspas. But Crew has Kesnet, so I don't know. But I think Lev easily. All right, Lev easily. Will you hear your first? <laughs> Give it up for Asuna one more time. An incredible performance. And now we are going to head to the analyst test because we have a double tree. It is Bustio and Bang. So friends, please take it away. <laughs> Fuck. Don't cuss, no cussing, bro. Sure. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for that, Liz. Good to hear uh, Asuna working on his Chinese. Love to hear it. Of course, uh, folks, we're here joined by Bang and Bustio. Congratulations, fellas. Firstly, Thank you so much. Holy crap. That was, <laughs> that was a game, series. bro. That was a series. Yeah, how does it, how does that kind of like compare to some of the other matches, uh, especially for you, Boosie, that you've been in in your time? I mean, I said it in like my post-game interview like a week or two ago. Winning on under T is insane. It definitely does feel good. Yeah. So making Shanghai, that's all I wanted is to make an international because like yeah. I want to prove myself on the international stage, not regionally. So it feels amazing to make it back, especially with this team. Yeah. We've improved so much in the last five months. It's incredible. And I think we really can win, yeah. win Shanghai. Yeah. I, hey, dude, you yeah. guys are playing great. I will say this much. Did you see at the end of the game, Asuna <sighs> jump shot it? Dude, that yeah, game is so dumb. It's that was, incredible. That was so it's dumb. like the good way to make Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's crazy. Bang, what about for you, man? This is huge. Uh, yeah. I mean, because you've been here for a long time. So yeah, yeah. how's it feel, man? Obviously, last year, I was how disappointing it was versus this year, just a complete 180. Honestly, we've uh, we had a rough start and kickoff, but to win like we have been recently, it's just an incredible feeling, honestly. I can't really match with anything else. This is, it's been two years almost since I qualified for international, so yeah. it's a good it's, feeling. It's got to feel good. Yeah, yeah. it does. Dude, what, what would you say has been the biggest difference? If you, could try to, if you could try to boil it down to one or two things that are different from this roster to just last year's roster, for example. I mean, I would say that um, mostly I feel like we're just all, first of all, I think we're all in pretty good individual form, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think that all of us are peaking at, a, at the right moment. And as a yeah. team, we just have really better teamwork. I think just la compared to last year, our teamwork is just better, honestly. The vibes yeah. are a little bit better. Teamwork is mostly what, I feel like we have really good team fights versus uh, compared to last year. I don't think we were always on the same page. Yeah, I mean, you guys are taking space, being proactive. It's yeah. pretty cool to watch. I mean, you know, I guess for you, Boosie, like, you come into this team, you get told, hey, you have an opportunity to go to 100 Thieves. This is like a vision. I know you wanted to be on this roster. I know you wanted to be on this organization yeah. as well. So to kind of come in and be the catalyst of so much change, was that like something that, you know, weighed on you a little bit? Were you like, oh, man, this is, you know, if I don't perform, people are going to be clowning on me? Or, oh. or were you always confident here? I was always very calm. I'm a very confident person. That's but true. I would <laughs> nah. say, yeah, I would say overall, though, uh, there is added pressure. But I mean, I came with my assistant coach, Zix. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest, he is the best coach I've ever worked with. He's incredible. A lot of our stuff is because of him. I kind of am just like the catalyst to like make it like a, a little better maybe. Or I don't know how to say it, but. Yeah. Oh, you, you know, you tweak it yeah, where you yeah, need yeah. to. Yeah. But, it. yeah, he does yeah. so much. But me and him just work so well together. He's such an incredible coach. And it really made me more comfortable having like a familiar face. Were you nervous For coming sure. in with, with yes, this group? Yes, I was group? super nervous. I, yeah. I think anyone would be joining a new team, yeah. not really knowing the players. Yeah, so did, I was gonna ask, did you know them? I, like... Me and Bang actually played like three years ago on some free agent team, yeah. okay. but not for a very long time. So yeah. I was very nervous coming in, but I mean, it took like three days and I realized like, these are some of my good friends. I'm gonna, yeah. I know I'm gonna yeah. love them, and I know we can do great things. Yeah, and what about for you? You get, the, you get told Busio's joining your team, this guy who can't shut his mouth and yeah, keeps yeah. talking trash all the time. Were you worried? Uh, I was like, uh, so sad when I heard him. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta deal with this guy. No, I've played with him in the past. He's a really yeah. chill guy. It's really easy to work with, honestly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Austin mentioned in the interview before this that uh, you and Tony both came in with a lot of ideas on how to fix a team mm -hmm. and how to change culture and things like that. What were some of the things that you have specifically tried to address in the short time you've had yeah. on this? I roster? mean, I think it was blatantly obvious last year. Like, uh, I think team fighting they were terrible at, and also um, like being aggressive. None of them took space when they needed to. None of them just like played for info. They would take bad fights. So like literally the first two months of our team, we literally, me and Tony, are, like would critique a lot of individual plays. Mm. But nowadays, like we're so perfect. Like you said, our teamwork is so much better than every other team's. It really feels like the beginning of VG for us. Dude, and wow. honestly, okay. it, it feels like a lot of the teamwork stuff that you guys do it almost looks like it's done without comps. Like there are times where on Icebox in particular, Asuna was watching 410 on a wall mm -hmm. when I think it was you who was standing right next to the Viper wall, and he just had, he had you. He had your angle the mm -hmm. whole time, and it was so on the fly. It, yeah. again, almost felt like it wasn't calmed at all. He I just think, knew. Yeah, I think I also excel a lot as an IGL, as, like, coming up with mid-round stuff, like, plays like that, where yeah. it doesn't, yeah, it seems like we, it's not possible to calm, 
but I do get words out, and that play was really good. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it was yeah. very perfect. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, it, it was great to see you guys just put on a show. That bind, by the way. I mean, my yeah. Chef's kiss. Dude, people, yeah. people don't ban bind against. I don't know. Don't it's gonna it. be fracture like EG all over again. <laughs> Brent, Brent has been losing his mind on Twitter, <laughs> just posting ah every time someone doesn't ban bind against you yeah. guys. So he definitely feels it there. We do have a Twitch chat question though. Uh, this is from. I, uh, well, you know, I think it's I love you, Dame. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, you helped the old eyes. All right. Uh, what is going through your head during the third game? That is a great question. You guys face a, a tough OT. You, you know, you get the fake comeback. Yeah. You think, okay, this is it. Doesn't happen. Now you're going into this do or die situation. What are you thinking? Um, obviously, I feel like we're just all really cool headed at the moment. Or, you were I mean, chill throughout yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was ever like, I don't think, I didn't feel like too much pressure. I feel like we tried to approach it like the same, if it was any other match, if it was the first map, it's just the same kind of vibe, honestly. Yeah. 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 I mean, I got put into a lot of those situations last year, so I'm, I feel like numb to it. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't care if we won or like, win or lose, to be honest. Like, we yeah. had another chance in lowers, even if we lost. Of course, I want to win, but yeah. to me, like, it's the same game. I was not nervous at all. Um, and I'm just glad we got to pull it out. Your mentality has changed significantly since I first met you till now. Probably. Remember, remember yeah. the first conversations we had at like lock in. You were like excited, eager, yeah. but now this, yeah. is a, this is a different guy that's in front. I mean, of me, yeah. Man. Once you win a world championship, yeah, it, it changes of, you. Huh? Yeah, I guess you know it's, it's a little different. There's but... a little thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, love it. We have one more question with the Twitch chat, by the way. It says, Busio, what makes you a better IGL than the others? This is a great question. Yeah, great for... question. Um, <laughs> I think overall, I just like understand and read the game better against opponents. Like I do have like, honestly, like really good reads. I know exactly what the enemy team's doing a lot of the time. And you're the most humble. Obviously. Of course I'm the yeah. most humble, that's obvious. <laughs> and the quietest. And the quietest. <laughs> but I really do think that's where I can kind of separate myself. Yeah. I'm not as good as other IGLs like strategically, but that's why it's perfect with me and Tony because he's very heavy on that side. Yeah. I'm very like heavy on the instincts. He's the brains, you're kind of the yes. emotion of it all. You're yes. feeling the game yes. out. And right? I have the instincts and it's like I said, it's a perfect match. I love him to death, so. Well, and we've, we've had two days now back to back mm -hmm. of you out calling world-class mm -hmm. IGLs. Yesterday, you guys ran circles mm -hmm. around Sadak and Loud, and then obviously today too. I think one last question I want to kind of pick both of your brains at is, mm -hmm. we've got to talk about Cryo. Yeah. Cryo yeah. is a new man, yeah, I swear. Insane. The way he's like playing confidently, he's obviously taking angles that we haven't really seen him take before and fights he wouldn't normally take in the past. What's, what's the secret? Like, what, what has changed? I'm, I mean, I don't know for sure. Maybe you have something else, but like the first like month or two of practice, we literally said, do whatever you want. Like literally be as aggressive as you want. If we lose four to 20 in a scrim, it doesn't matter. Literally be as, as aggressive as you want. And we've kept that mentality the whole time. So mm. he might look a little different because Cryo was super passive last year. Yeah. But now, you know, he can do both and he's incredible at both. And he is top three player in the world right now. Dude, yeah. he's nuts. He's incredible. For me, uh, I know for a fact he's been like, he's been this good forever. Yeah, of Ever course. since I played with him, I, I knew that this guy. And we saw it on X set. We saw it on X set. We saw in 100 Thieves. He, he's always been this talented and yeah. this insanely like mm. just gifted. And he's just, he puts in a lot of work and everything. But honestly, yeah. I think last year versus this year, he just has a chance to be on a winning team. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just, it, you're able to see it more. Yeah. And what about for you actually? Uh, you know, just, just uh, before we close it out, because it feels like you are also in that same way. You've always been a consistent player for this team, but it also feels like you're finding like a, a second win, third win. John I don't know is being is. humble, but he's also one of the best players in the world when it comes to aiming, 100%. <laughs> the, the things I see these two kids do in scrims is incredible. Yeah. So now he has a chance to perform on the international stage. It's going to be it's gonna be. Any teams out. you're excited to play against? Oh, for sure. Yeah, anyone in particular, any team? Uh, not any team particular, honestly. I'm just I happy to Fnatic. be. You want Fnatic? Actually, I, know you're gonna... I think I this say... team is mechanically better than EG was last year. So okay. I think... We match up very good against Fnatic because we're going to shut on them. <laughs> we will. We definitely will destroy Fnatic with just, the Frost. You got to give me a warning, brother. Yeah, I need sorry, a beeper. Sorry, sorry. I need sorry, a sorry, beeper or sorry, something, sorry, buddy. Sorry, you know? Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Well, on that note, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at our standings and see where we are right now because two more championship points have been awarded to uh, G2 and 200 Thieves. You guys got yourself five points in the group here, and you're getting one step closer. I mean, guys, this is a massive, massive turnaround yeah. that you have both experienced uh, this stage incredible stuff has to feel good to be able to like step into this in a, in a role where you really do feel like you're in a strong position here do you think you could maybe maybe take the whole thing with this team dude we versus g2 
I don't want to be too mean, but we we versus G2 tomorrow, we will absolutely not lose that match. They are not good. <laughs> so we will destroy G2 tomorrow 100%. And you're okay if we use yeah. this footage again Please use it. On. Okay. Please use it after I beat them as well. 100% we will destroy <laughs> them. What, 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 are you, what are your thoughts? Like, he's sitting next to you. <laughs> and he's just going off. Like that. Out of pocket. Honestly, as a player on this team, it feels good to know that he's super confident in his own thing. I'm not going to say things like that, <laughs> personally. But, I mean, it's good that he's confident. Yeah. Yeah. I got flashbacks of the conversation you, we, you had next to Potter about Chinese teams last year. Yeah. Where you're like, there's not a single good Chinese team out there. They That's all it. suck. Yeah. That was, we just saw that moment again. <laughs> we, just, we just saw it happen in real time. Yeah, I mean, oh, my thank goodness. God I would much rather verse you two than Chris. So I'm super <laughs> excited. Okay, okay. I love it. All right, well, here's what we're going to be checking out tomorrow here. You heard from the man himself <laughs> what was going to happen. A little preview here. But we are going to see G2 take on 100 Thieves. And, of course, we will get Crew versus Leviathan down the line as well. But you guys have punched a ticket to Shanghai. You're excited? I mean, China is going to be pretty pretty funny. I mean, you, you better be careful out there. Bro. I know, I know. Trust me. I'm a little scared. But... Oh, boy, yeah, yeah. Walk outside, look yeah, behind yeah. your shoulder. You know yeah, we all make those jokes. <laughs> I hope it's a good time. I'm very excited. Super glad to be back on the international stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think everyone's excited to see you guys back in the international stage. Of course, rocking the 100 Thieves jersey. Yep. So that's going to be quite, quite awesome. Well, guys, that's basically going to do it for us here today. want to thank everyone for tuning in, joining us on what has truly been an exciting day of competition. But the good news is it continues on tomorrow. You're going to see these guys take on G2 tomorrow, and it is going to be awesome. And you're going to want to be there to check it all out. We'll catch you then, folks. Take it easy. Bye, guys. Thank you so much, fellas. Thank you. Down to the wire with a time ticking away. Jonah, where's he pulling this from? What a shot! All away, but everybody blinded up, and they are being eviscerated. There's no remorse from G2. Hey. Nice. It's, it's too easy. Bro. Let's go, man. That's the open map going away at G2. I did not think we'd be here so quickly. They were there, they were prepped, Spot. they were ready. And leave this guy is indomitable. Fallon, a bullet's left. Oh my god. Perfection at play of a G2. A ticket inside around the world. They go straight to Shanghai. A one versus one else. Seek yourself. Fighting against Calm. Back to the classic. And the judge will rage right to the face. And you definitely know that's one on one battle. Once again, one by two to versus Calm. The thieves are surging dominance. Whitman on the defuse. Fun. Labored, but a fight won by King. Why, Why is that weird? <laughs> Why don't area we... round after round. Oh. It's quick. Show Sopper to Hunter's Fury. Osmos with the first blood. And even uh, face to face towards the spawn. Oh and he will God. be able to catch one. Rolling Thunder doesn't hit. Oh. 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 landing for Hunter Thieves. The late run from Mazzino. Get three into the round. Oh. Doesn't seem to be the case. Mazzino oh. with the pick. Leviathan oh. resurges. This game to map three and with no dash to land the first kill. Call oh. in the dome. Oh. 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 It's up to calm now just to try to delay that clock. Oh.